Okay, we're here at 3546 North Figueroa Street in Los Angeles, 90065. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. We'll have the general inspector crawl underneath the house. He's physically going to look at everything. However, I would highly recommend you get a plumber to check the plumbing underneath the house because I had a quick little peek underneath the house and it looks like I don't think the plumbing was really done very well, but I didn't do any thorough inspection on that. We're here to check the main sewer line, and this inspection is based on my opinion. Now, there are no main line cleanouts available, so what we've done is we're running the camera from a two-inch end-of-a-line roof vent that goes all the way to the back of the house. So this way we're able to check the main sewer line going through the house. Uh, when we were running the, the camera through the house, we saw standing water, but we'll have a look at it as we come back because I have the water stopped now and uh, we're all the way out into the city sewer where we are right now. So there's the city sewer flowing by there. So we're going to bring the camera back here. There's the connection to the city right there. There's your connection. So as we bring the camera back, we have a six inch clay pipe coming back from the middle of the street towards the property. Now remember this inspection is based on my opinion. So this does look like a clay pipe and uh, it so far looks like it's in pretty fair condition. Now it, you see minor little separ separations uh, right at the end over there but that's very common that you're going to find that with a clay pipe with cement joints near the city connection. I look at this pipe here and I see it looks like it's in pretty fair to good condition. There's nothing, the water's flowing very well and this all looks pretty good to me. Pretty long lateral, but it's all in pretty decent condition. I think we're probably definitely on the property. I th it's all pretty clear though, it's all clay piping. fair condition. A little bit of roots coming through right over here. Now we're definitely in the four inch pipe. That was the con that was the four by six connection right there. So we're on the property now with a four inch clay pipe. Still looks like it's in pretty fair condition. You're definitely going to need a cleaner, mainline cleaner with a pipe exit to house. We are located it. I put a little green dot there. But the pipe going outside you is obviously getting all old, but it's still in fair condition. Looks pretty good. Now right over here, changes to some cast iron pipe, and you can see this is definitely getting a little old, and you can see how paper can get stuck in the line. So this is old piping over here. Definitely getting a little rusty. We always recommend you never flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels. And I think what's happening here, this cast line is so old, you can see how the paper is catching to the pipe over here. So technically, this really should, should have been replaced. And then it comes back to ABS plastic here. So we're going to keep coming back have a look at it. So far, not too up. Back to cast iron, very old cast iron. Then ABS plastic, and you can see how, keep a, 
You see the water standing in the line. This is not graded properly. This is not graded at all very well underneath the house. So I highly recommend you get a plumber to check the plumbing um, underneath the house and make sure that it's all done properly. I would definitely recommend at least a two-way clean-out be installed where the pipe exits the house. That's what I'm going to put on my recommendation. As far as the plumbing underneath the house, I highly recommend getting a plumber to check all the plumbing over there. So here we come up the roof vent over here. This is the roof vent all the way in the back. And here we come up on the roof. We'll go ahead, stop the recording over here.